Hello guys, I'm Nawal Yamul. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see the data frame functions. Let me create a new folder first and I'll say it's all about data frame functions. Data frame functions. Okay, so we have already seen how the select data frame function works. So if you haven't uh, watch my previous videos. I request you to please watch the previous videos on data frame function select. So we are going to see the second notebook uh, or second data frame function important that is with column. Okay, so with column rename. So let us go with the with column rename and then we'll go to with column. So for that I'm selecting my default language as Python and the cluster I have selected in today's date that is 2nd of Jan and let me create this new notebook so for using this data frame function i need a data frame so you can pick a data frame from the data sets of databricks or you can create your own so let me pick again so uh, for that let me use percent fsls these are called the db or you can call the databricks utilities where it will list down all the files which are there inside your Databricks file system, but when you are using percent FSLS, Databricks is giving you their own data sets also. You can see data sets also for our practice. So let me copy this and paste it here. And so inside the directory of the Databricks data sets, there are almost 55 rows. So let me pick this adults data set. Adults, let me copy this, paste it here. So inside that adults, we have again a directory called dot data dot test. So let me pick one of this. Just copy and paste it, paste the path here. Let us take the online retail data set. So because that is in a CSV file, let us first practice with the CSV file and then we'll see the different data formats for that. Let me see uh, the online retail data. So I am creating a data frame now from this data set. So the code is data frame equal to spark dot read dot CSV and then you pass on the path in that. So I am not inferring any schema for now. So let me put this path in a string and execute this. Yeah, it has executed. Now let me use data frame dot show to check the results or to check the output. You can see it. So you got description, you got invoice number, stock code, quantity, invoice, date, price, customer and country and so on. Okay, so when you are using dot show, you can see only top 20 rows. Okay, but if you are using display, you can see top 1000 rows. Let me show you. If I use display data frame, you can see top 1000 rows you can see 1000 rows have been truncated and you can see it in a neat html or a table so i want this as my headers i want this my headers so i what i'll do i'll just modify this code with option i'll use option and i'll say that my headers for this file or this data frame should be true so let me make header to be true and let me execute this now yeah, it has executed and let me run this display and now you can see the headers. Okay, so now what is my requirement? Suppose I want to rename the column names. I want to rename this invoice name, column name to invoice number to complete invoice number. So there are multiple ways you can do. One is you can do with the help of select data frame function. But for that you need to use select and then you need to use alias on top of that. But you can do with a simple data frame function that is called as a with column rename. So how it works. So you just specify the data frame name and write with column with column with column renamed and you can see the way I'm writing the syntax the every letter is capital it is like a camel case so if you want to run help on top of this so you need to copy all this and you try to use help on this so it is data frame dot with column renamed so we are 
running help here and now the syntax is very simple for with column rename so you need only two parameters one is existing and one is new so what is your old column name and you put that in a new column name and both existing column name and the new column name both should be in the string okay so i am starting now data frame dot with column rename and this is my old or the existing column name so let me put that in a string and say that it is invoice number put now with invoice number okay now i want it to be an invoice number now let me execute this it has executed now you can see your column name has been changed but if you want to see it in a table you can put that all in a display function and check so let me use display and show you the output you can see the invoice number so with column renamed let me make a note here by using a percent md and make up this one so with column renamed is used to rename column name okay rename the column name so this is one of the function there is one more method how you can rename the column name so if you say that i can rename the column name with the help of select also yeah definitely you can do that so let me show you how you can rename data frame dot select and you select the column which you want to rename so i can say that i will rename this quantity column just for a simple practice quantity and on this quantity i want to do alias so if you are using alias or if you want to do some changes for this column you need to take this as a column type not only a string type so you need to take call and you put this inside your call function and then on top of that you need to put a dot alias and you give the new name for that so let me write quantity like this okay but if i run i'll get an error because there is no function called defined here it is saying call is not defined so for that let me import from pyspark dot sql dot functions import call so here data frame functions are different and the functions of pyspark sql are different okay so let me import this in our coming sessions you will get a clear understanding on that okay so you can see we got an output so if i say dot show dot show and execute this you can see only one column with the column name changed so that is the difference between using a select and using a with column rename but if you ask me like i want all the columns with the select and alias only you can do it here you can pass a star here and put a comma here okay so star will give you all the columns and this will give you a new column with a name quantity so let me execute this and now you can see that you got all the columns as you uh, like as your existing data frame you got quantity column also but when you use quantity it is deriving you a new column and aliasing it to quantity so this is one more method how you can do that then later on you can use a data frame function drop so you can drop this quantity but it becomes a long process like we are using select also we are using alias also then we are using a drop also but you can do that in a very simple with only one data frame function that is called with column rename so this is how with column rename works thank you guys thank you for watching this video if you like it please subscribe to my channel thank you keep learning